All right, so you're getting ready to dig in the ground and you want to find out what utilities are there. There are several ways to accomplish this. Um, the simplest of which is to start with just the underground utility atlas. And that can be found here. Here's an index of the atlas. All these sheets are available as PDFs all the way out to West Campus. Um, I think we said the library. Why don't we take a look at that first? There's full color. There's a full color option. There's also a line work option. So if it'd be printing, I'd recommend the line work. And if it's for screen viewing or something, I'd recommend full color. It gives you the aerial imagery behind it. So we can take a look here. And this shows the utilities. Um, one thing that's not as obvious at first are these little yellow boxes. It says 36103 here. 18107 here. These all refer to UCSB drawing numbers. So if you need to do further research, you can go to the scan drawings website, drawings.facilities.ucsb.edu and look up these numbers here. First number is location number. And then the second number is drawing number field. Um, also these call outs do a similar thing. These, these reference um, the line itself. And for example, this fire water line, um, more info can be seen about that at 525-601, um, sheet C102A, it looks like. All right, so that's one way. Um, also, a lot of times you'll get um, utilities, you know, the area you're working happens to fall right at a grid line, right, right over here at the edge of one of these utility atlas sheets. So if you happen to be working on a building, you can also search for building... Um, utility atlas so if we go over to our building search map click building util atlas link and we'll be greeted shortly here we go so there's that same utility information but now it is centered on buildings uh, rather than the grids so that can be useful sometimes um, also you'll notice over here on the right hand side of this slide um, there's a demonstration of how you could use ArcGIS field maps to see this information in the field. Um, and then I'm going to show you real quickly that there's also an interactive uh, online map on ArcGIS online that can be used. Let's go find that. So <clears throat> the question's been asked, who has access to this stuff? Um, you won't immediately have access to this data, those PDFs. As long as you have a UCSB email, you'll have access to those. But this data here requires uh, jumping through just a couple hoops. So you really have to want it. But uh, I'm happy to, to guide you through the process and getting an account on here. Um, okay, but anyway, let's open that utility atlas. All right, so this version will be interactive. So this is kind of nice. You can click on things and you get more information. Um, one thing I'm really proud of is the uh, the ties between our record drawings and the utility information. So, for example, if you click on this reclaim water line, um, you'll see not only the project that put it in, it was 19102, sheet P3, the size, um, and then you also see uh, year installed. Um, and then but it's really handy. You can click on this link to the scan drawing site and basically do a scan drawing search on the map. Uh, and that takes you to this sheet, which um, of course will give you a lot more information. In this case, north is down. So let's flip it around a little bit. And then we can see that this is, this is the area I was clicking on. So this will provide um, depths as well as just a little bit more information as far as materials and it'll have everything like reducers and valves on here. Um, it's just a little bit more information than we can fit on the, the standard utility atlas. So this is a good resource as well.